Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Herdio is a 10 years old audio system brand in Hong Kong. Including home audio, outdoor audio and marine audio. We hope to make home audio systems affordable for more and more people. Today we're going to talk about how to use our for channel wall mounted Bluetooth amplifier receiver. The two channel connection video we uploaded in 21 years got a lot of viewing. So today's video is a continuation of that video. If you're new to Herdio, don't forget to subscribe so you can see our updates. So let's get started. All right, back here. I'm going to show you the difference between two channel and for channel. There is also a description of each interface. But we have recently made changes to the hard wiring of the power supply. I'll attach two pictures to let you know. Okay. Next, I'll show you guys two ways to connect. Let's turn the first speakers upside down. Connect the speaker with the speaker wire. Red is connected to the positive and black is connected to the negative. Note that there is an AUX interface on top of the terminal here, which is a little bit crowded. You can also see the positive and negative poles on the side. At this point, you can bend the horn wire 90 degrees to make it easier to insert. Hold it with your thumb and tighten it with the screw. This is how it appears with all of the speaker wire connected. Okay, let's go ahead and connect the speaker cable. If you do not want to use power in front of the panel, then you can try to connect the power supply behind the panel. So next I'll show you the second way of accessing power. It is hardwired. How do you connect your own power supply? By hardwiring, just use the 12 volts DC wire that comes with this. Cut the DC head off and wrap the 12 volts DC wire with your power cord. Then wrap it with insulating tape. Okay, let's turn the speaker upside down again. I'll show the process of pairing Bluetooth on my iPhone. What you're looking at now is the first way of accessing the power supply, which is our included power supply. Plug in the power. The power light flashed once, meaning power was on. To connect Bluetooth, dial to BT gear. Turn the knob upward and hear a drop to turn on. The blue light flashes and starts searching for signals. It's time to start pairing now.
Please note that you can change the Bluetooth name on your mobile device, but you cannot change the default name. The knob keeps turning up, getting louder and quieter as it goes down. Not to the bottom of the rotation, here the sound of drops is to turn off the power. USB mode, USB plug and play. Toggle to MIC gear to use the microphone. Turn on the microphone switch. Turn up the sound. Test. 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 Test sounds. Okay. Now you're looking at the second test for accessing power. We just covered in already how to use hard wiring. So let's test it. Okay, plug in the power. As you can see, the test is normal. All right. We showed you how to connect four speakers into different ways to connect the power supply. In the next video, we will simulate how to install speakers with our 16 BT amplifier. Well, this is also a matter of concern to everyone. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're always open to hearing anything you might have through. See you in the next video. Bye. Ha 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 ha.